If you or a colleague have spent considerable time creating a Google Sheet that is now missing all or part of its data, here is how you can recover what has been lost. I'm going to show you three ways to retrieve lost data and then show you five ways to prevent losing data in the first place. This could save you a ton of time and prevent you from having to rebuild something that was already created. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. The first way to recover accidentally deleted or overwritten data in Google Sheets is to use the file version history. On the top right of your file, you'll see the version history button. It looks like a clock with a counterclockwise arrow around it. Click that button and this will open the version history bar on the right hand side. From there, you can see the previous version of the file. By clicking on each version, it will show you a preview of that version and highlights what cells have been changed. It will also show you what user changed the cell by highlighting them in different colors. In this example, I have been the only one who has made changes to this file, so all of the highlighted cells are the same color. Once you've found the version that you want, click the blue Restore This Version button on the top left. The second way to recover accidentally deleted or overwritten data in Google Sheets is to use the cell version history. Right-click one of the cells that no longer has the value in it that once was there and select Show Edit History from the menu that pops up. This will bring up information on who made the last change to the cell, when they made the change, and what they changed. You can use the forward and backwards arrows to see a complete change history for that cell. Once you find the previous point in time that you want to restore that cell to, you can copy the value and paste it back into the cell. The third way to recover accidentally deleted data is to remove the file from the trash. If your entire file was deleted, you will see this message when you open a Google Sheet. Click the Take Out of Trash button to recover the file, but note that this will only work if the file was deleted in the last 30 days. If the file was deleted over 30 days ago, you will not be able to recover the file, but here are some proactive ways you can prevent that from happening. The first way is to make a copy of your file. If you have an important sheet that you are working with, it's probably a good idea to periodically make backup copies of the file. That way, if you or someone else accidentally deletes the file, even if it goes unnoticed for over 30 days, at least you can go back to one of the backup copies you've made. To make a backup copy, you need to go to File and then Make a Copy. This will create a new copy that you can name and save wherever you'd like. Once you've named the file, click the blue Make a Copy button. The second proactive way to make it easier to recover accidentally deleted or overwritten data in a file is to periodically create name versions by clicking the Version History button on the top right. From there, click the three dots beside the current version and select Name This Version. Name the version to whatever you want and it will be easier to find and retrieve that version of the file if needed in the future. The third proactive way to prevent the loss of data is when sharing the file to give the person that you are sharing the file with either viewer access or commenter access. This will prevent the user from being able to change anything on the file. The fourth proactive way to prevent data from being deleted or overwritten is to protect the sheet. This will prevent other users from editing the specific sheet that you apply this to. If you want to protect the entire sheet, click the tab and select Protect Sheet. Select the green Set Permissions button. The next prompt that comes up allows you to set who will still have access to edit the sheet. By default, it's set to only you, but if you change the dropdown to Custom, you can add other users who can still edit the file. Note that the other sheets on the file will still be editable by others. Finally, the fifth proactive way to prevent data from being deleted or overwritten is to protect a range of cells. This will prevent other users from editing the specific range that you apply this to. If you want to protect a range, select the range that you would like to protect and then right-click that range. In the menu that pops up, scroll to the bottom and select View More Cell Actions and then Protect Range. Then select the green Set Permissions button. Similar to protecting a sheet, the next prompt that comes up allows you to set who will still have access to edit the sheet. By default, it's set to only you, but if you change the dropdown to custom, you can add other users who can still edit the file. If you found this helpful, be sure to check out our other videos and consider subscribing. We upload new content weekly, so if there is a Google Sheet problem you need help with, let us know in the comments below.